people are dying as we speak. Yes, it's 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 imminent. It's going to happen anytime soon. Overall, the number of people in Gaza facing catastrophic hunger has doubled since the last time we uh, did this report three months ago. And it has gone uh, from 570,000 people in December to 1.1 million people today. This is the highest ever recorded number of hunger, death, malnutrition by the IPC system, which is basically the way we monitor food insecurity. It continues to be a problem in terms of getting aid to much of Gaza, but especially the north. Why isn't that aid, much needed aid, reaching the most needy? Well, you know, there are so many reasons why we are in this situation. The the issue of access. We have to have access to humanitarian and aid organizations. We have to have food supplies get into inside the areas that are very difficult to reach. That's mainly North Gaza. The only way to address this catastrophic hunger in Gaza is to bring in huge amounts of food assistance today, tomorrow, and for the next next month. This should not be a one-off thing, a convoy that went yesterday or the day before. This something is something that needs to happen on a daily basis. And we do have the food supplies ready. And if we get, we're we given the right conditions, we can scale up to reach 2.2 million people across Gaza with other humanitarian organizations. So it is. it means that we need to have the the food supplies, we need to have the systematic access. We need, there is right now so much, um, you know, chaos and, and lack of order and desperation because people are hungry. And I think they lost hope that food supplies are coming in. 